Sweetians, welcome back to Sweetieville. If you're new to my channel, welcome to Sweetieville. I am Sweetie Pie, and we are with the Simlessy Build Challenge. So, I know I only stream this uh, one time at the end to finish it up after another build challenge to finish up my stream time, but this I did work on mainly off camera a lot. Um, but I did want to do a quick little walkthrough of what I had completed for the build challenge and give you guys kind of a quick tour and what I thought when I was building it. So this is it. I did come up with a three-story home. It's got a little fountain at the front. Um, I am in tab mode, so I can't guarantee how great I'll be able to do this. So I do apologize now because my tab mode skills are not that great. Um, here is a side view. Get it to move around here to the backyard for y'all. Get around all these darn trees, but you know the trees are what makes it so beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, that should be a decent get. Uh, there we go get out of the trees so that is the back and um, the backyard so we do have a jungle gym a swing set and a slide for a toddler we got the um, water bucket the bird feeder up on the deck if you can see that they got the horseshoe things and I did tuck away the trash can way over there in the left side of your screen at the corner of the home there so they do have some really nice two big trees in the very back well actually three um, because the fencing goes all quite a bit around where like there's a willow tree some oak trees there's that oak tree um there's this side view excuse that house in the way i am so terribly sorry there's I'll look at it from that angle and then once again back over into the front so I'm gonna get out of tab mode so I can get to the front door because like yeah if not it'll take me forever to get up there um, yeah all right then about here I'm gonna have to go in tab mode to get in so um, this is kind of like the walkway path I did create to get up here um, excuse my tester sim there. I, this house has been test played, so it is fully functional for what you will see in. Um, I did use move objects on, but I did not move anything. I was not allowed to, so there's the front porch. And then, whoa, tab mode. This is this beautiful little setting here. Um, I did create this house with the idea of the new expansion careers that we got so um oh goodness for the life of me it's been such a long day at work and i so forgot what they were called um so excuse me as i sound very horrible at this um but uh yeah so i built this home for that so i kind of put this little corner over here for like if you have clients that are waiting to see you outside of your office and you know you're working from home that would be the kind of you know atmosphere here so there's a programmer you can be there is a writer and there is the digital freelance artist so um, I did also create like a sign out there for your at home business and a fountain and you got a separate doorway entrance here with the same signage up above for your um, office entrance. So we're gonna go in there really quick first. So I did create a custom sign. In this house, I did think that the dad was probably like the programmer artist, um, I mean influencer. So he was, you know, doing web designs and maybe making components for clients and would have to meet with them and show them things. And then their canvases behind there as well. 
as you can see because I kind of thought this would be like a dual purpose office so like the mom I envisioned as well to be the freelance digital artist and then that way she can put her artwork up there and show her clients and go through that so this is the room for all of that and then you got just you know normal office workspace on this side totally cute in my opinion so they do have woo, the separate office here that they do share for clients and this is like the little waiting area there's drinks there and everything and this over here is the home entrance so that is where we're gonna go into next so I did create a very open floor pan I envisioned this house to be kind of like a remodeled Victorian uh, made to be a little bit more modern but keeping some of the touches of the old Victorian. I also wanted to do a house that was black and white themed so you're going to see a lot in here. I wanted to see what I could do that would make a black and white home and still make it very authentic. So there are little bits of colors here and there. Um, but mainly that's in plants and like cushions and bedding, so things like that. But everything else, I did try to keep very plain for this. So you have your um, entrance hallway here with lots of clutter items here where you just come in and drop your things. Over around this way, we have the cats and dog space seat, which I envisioned is where, you know, the kids put their shoes and they have their backpacks and coat racks up here. I did envision this house to be for a cat as well. I kind of thought they would be a cat family. Um, so this is the entrance area. So after the entrance area, you have kind of like a split plan this is that wall you could not move. So instead of moving that wall, I turned it into a focal point. So on one side of it, you have your big kitchen that you know in an old Victorian home would be closed off and we opened it up. And then on the other half, you have your dining room and living room. And then you'll see the stairways that go upstairs. So we're gonna start in the kitchen here. So you have this big, beautiful black and white kitchen. Here is the focal point here. I made it into like a coffee barista area type thing and the dishwasher is there. So they like display their china there. Um, they have like a little pass through for talking and seeing all the way through. You can see all the way to the other end of the house here. I think it's absolutely beautiful in this little floor plan. So it just kind of like opened up and kept some of the features up there. Um, on this way here we have the stove and some countertop items there and a little cooking this side over here we have like a little nook into that's recessed with the sink and then over here we have the fridge and like a little in cabinet pantry area um, that's a little cluttered up and some extra things up on top of the fridge so that would be this area we have the little pet bowl over on this corner here this if you come around the bar on this side will give you the other look into the fridge the fridge yeah you're looking in the fridge guys into the dining room and living room um let me get out of zoom mode there so it looks a little bit more normal so once again it's all very black and white but more um kind of like victorian styled that, that's the way i see it like a modern victorian so they have a nice big dining table here with some pendant lights hanging over it um which i really thought were black and white but i see a shade of purple in there so yay um this here is the living room area so you got your cat toy thing on that side there is the table you could not move so we um changed it into an accent table we have some treats on there for our cats some books and a few other audit ends we have her uh, scratching post and her little bed there and then we have our living room area which we have a few things cluttered onto the end tables i pulled out some magazines the remote and some stuff like that um, and a lot of seating area this door here takes you into the home office so this is their access into here try not to move this too fast to make you all sick 
So this area here is the door to the back deck. And that is just a very simple, you have like a grill, a small plant, a little patio table with some lemonade pitchers on it. And we have the bird feeder down there. And I did enclose this with a fence so the little kiddos can't go running off and escape. So that is what it looks like from there. And then this little door, oh yeah. And here's the little open area from over on this side. You just got your little china hutch there with some fruit and some decorative plants onto the side. And, uh, you know, tiled up. There's the view to the front door. Ooh, sorry. And this door here view is the powder room. So this is just a half bath with some sinks and toilet nothing overly huge just a little bit of this and that just a nice little guest bathroom honestly and then we'll head upstairs and the last time i tried to do tab mode and upstairs in my other build challenge it did not go well so we'll, we'll see how good i do this so we're going we're going oh i i failed um Uh-oh, I'm really failing. Take me up. Okay, going, uh-oh. Wow. I am bad, that's bad. See things you're not supposed to right now. I am so sorry. Wow. Now I don't even know where I am. Whoo, okay. All right, so let me get back in tab mode. I am so sorry. I said I suck at tab mode. I wasn't lying. Um, let me, no, get down. Okay, so you come up the stairs and you have like a little artist landing for the children. There's like music in a sitting area over here. Um, there's a patio area right out here with, you know, nothing special on it. It's just, you know, you can go out here and talk to people on the street and just chill. You have your kitty post here and I'm like so close to everything. Oh my goodness. This is this is so horrible. I know I should have been able to do this before work and not now. This is going to be so bad. I'm so sorry guys. And then you have the family computer area which as you can see is very cluttered up. They do also have a fish that you can put in there and I did give them the um, pet thing in my bob cage over there i have no clue what you call that but i call it the pet cage um and then a cute little hamster chair and a toy box over here so next to the stairs where you come up is the stairs to go up to the third level of course then you have a small hall over there as you can see and then around here so we're gonna head this way first whoa ah Okay, looks much better. Okay, and then in this area here, you will find the master bedroom area. So there's just a small little entry area here, and then they have their own master bedroom here, master bathroom here. Oh my gosh, my mouth. And then they have a double sink on this side is what it looks like. And then on this side, if I can get out of the wall, um, you have your tub that looks like the old tub that was, you know, redone and a nice stand-up shower. They did redo this bathroom to put the laundry in here, but, you know, if you don't like that, you can always just extend the closet. And then the toilet is tucked over here in the corner as well. So that is the bathroom. And then over here you have the actual master bedroom which is nice and big and like I said you know just small pops of colors here and there you have the mother's vanity table a small closet here and a walk-in closet next to it so we're gonna go in here because I added a cork in here so you have your mirrors and everything and you're like wait there's a door this is a closet you said it's a closet yes I know um old Victorian homes at least where I'm from there's always like this like shared closet in these rooms attached every now and then so i kind of like recreated that 
Um, so I do have a shoe caddy over here from the Get Famous pack, but if you go in this room here, that takes you into the nursery. So, and my crib disappeared. There was a crib right there on that carpet. I am so sorry. I'll have to put the crib back in. So it is made out to be for a nursery for a little infant that you're having. And I made a changing table over here. Um, a little nursing area over here. Pulled out some debug items. We have some things on the shelf and a little bear and a height tracker and stuff. So just the little things that I think the little ones will need. So we're gonna go out the nursery door here, which will take us over to the other side of the upstairs and into the hallway. We have some blocks over here for the little one to play with. And in this first door here, we are going to find ourselves a double vanity sink. So um, a lot of the times they had like what was called um, Jack and Jill bathrooms. Well, this isn't quite a Jack and Jill bathroom, but it had like the idea of a Jack and Jill bathroom. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, but like I couldn't get the floor plan to work with me on this one. So we compromised a little here. Excuse me while I take a drink so I can continue to talk. So we have our double vanity sink here for the children. Our little toddler potty is in here in a couple little bit. And then we have a nice little other door. We'll go through here and then through here you have your tub shower combo for the kiddos. Your toilet is in here as well some nice blinds on the big windows and of course the laundry basket because we had laundry in here so um it's kind of like you know one sibling can take a shower while the other can be washing their hands or brushing their teeth for the morning so it kind of gives them a little bit more purpose there and then this door here will take you into this very wild room. Okay, so usually, like I said, very bland all over the house, but I don't believe children's rooms should be very bland because, you know, they should be allowed to have some personality and, and bring the children out. So I did envision this room for two twin boys. One is in love with red and one loves blue. So, you know, mom and dad said, you know, what color you wanna paint your room? They couldn't decide, so. This is what they came up with. They used both, so blue by the blue, red by the red. Um, as you can see, they're very much into void critters. So it's really great. I have um, void critter stickers all over for them. It's like, you know, they've collected them all and they're sharing them and showcasing them off. And then this one's bed and end table over here and more void critters. And then we have this little section here as if, you know, one of them likes comedy and stuff like that and Void Critters and their lunch boxes. And then they have their little Void Critter station they play with here. And then a little station for their ribbons and their trophies and the calendar and a few more toys on their bookshelf and some books and, you know, a lot, a lot, a lot of Void Critters. And I gave them the space light because you know why not with this crazy room so I, I do like to go a little crazier for children's rooms and so I did on that one um and then we're gonna go up to the next level and I'll probably screw that up so I'm just gonna get out of tab mode and do it because you know it, I'm just not just not okay I'm so out of sync I'm supposed to be right here okay tab mode and back down we go whoa wrong button No, wrong button. Now I'm on the floor. Oh my goodness. Okay. So you come up to this like little landing area if you can actually move the buttons right. I know. And then you have like this bookcase area here and a little sit in the area. And you know, nothing huge, just a little bookcase. You got a door on this side and a door on this side. So we're going to start with this way. Whoa, that was fast. I've never got it to go that fast. Oh goodness, how did I go this fast? Okay, so I'm like in the plant. I'm so sorry. Ah, okay. I'm over it. So this is, I envisioned, where the mother does her painting and her real work. Work where it's messier and she gets a little time away from the children. And this is where she works at. So she has a painting canvas for that. She has some work that she's done in the back. Um, she has her own little desk here and other 
artworks and clock, you know. Um, she has her digital sketch pad over here on her desk as well. Um, and of course some family memorabilia up there. Whoa. You poor people. I am so, so sorry. There we go. Um, and some family memorabilia and books up there as well. Okay, that might be better. And then, like the little closet there, I envision that she stored supplies there. If you go across to the other one, I envision this to be the guest room. So, like, when the grandparents come to visit or, you know, family members or whatever. So, this is where they should stay. And they have their own balcony out there, but we'll get there in just a moment. They have this nice little... Um, kind of neutral like room and a few odds and ends for them there on the table to get around um, that they kind of supply um, like a little bookcase over here I merged that new bookcase with that thought it looked really cute like that and then this door here takes you into their ensuite and I just went straight oh my gosh it's going so fast I can't control it I'm so sorry Okay, so like there's a shower over here you're barely seeing because it goes right past it every time. I am so sorry. Um, this bathtub here is player tested, so it does work with those curtains there. And then the toilet's hiding over here in the corner. And then it does have, OMG. I am, I'm horrible tonight. I'm horrible. Okay, there you go. I'll just stand in the tub. That's what I'll do. I'll stand in the tub. <laughs> Okay, so we have a double vanity sink here with some towels and things for your guests as well. So this is the sink area and we're just going to get out of here. Oh wow, oh wow, okay. And then we have the balcony area. There we go. And then I just envision this to be, you know, a nice little area for them. They can come up here. They have like a little drink tray where they can just sit and chill. Um, after the um, long day and have a little bit of relaxation time maybe they need um, from their long trips or whatever so that is the whole house and I'm gonna skip this tad mode because I don't know about you guys but yeah I think that's enough there we go all right so that is the whole house I hope you guys have injur injured <laughs> Oh my goodness, I'm so hacking this up so bad. I am so, so sorry, guys. Um, enjoyed this quick tour of this build. And please leave me any comments down below and any other challenges you may want me to try. Hopefully, I will be able to do those as well. I have actually kind of really enjoyed them as I have started these just to test my building skills and how far I have gotten and what I am capable of doing from when I did start my building projects. So I'm very proud of this. I, I really like this home. It's really great. I'd hate to see what it's going to cost for the home. Um, well, in fact, I can take you in here. I don't want to do that. Okay, there we go. I did put this on a 40 by 30 lot and it does cost $203,334. I did not give it any traits or anything and I did list it as a seamlessly build challenge. It will be out on the gallery under my hashtag as you can find everything I do. Hashtag Sweetieville and hashtag ZweetiePie. And this, since this is Simlessy's build challenge, you can also find it under hashtag Simlessy build challenge. So I do hope you guys enjoy. Thank you for stopping by and I will see you all next time. Bye.